What a deep, beautiful story. Somebody yelling at me, I got a heckler. And here I come talking about skipping class. All right, hello guys. My name is Monique Ray. I am an artist, an animator, an illustrator. I created some graphics for you guys today. I hope you're into it. And I'm gonna tell you a story about my late and great grandmother from Jamaica, Ivy Maud McDonald. Her penchant for bush medicine and my desire to, burning desire to skip class. <laughs> uh, growing up, I wasn't a huge fan of school, if I'm gonna be honest, with the exception of art class, of course. Um, and that's only one period out of the school day, right? Uh, I spent most of my time in class either sketching, being a joker, or acting like I wasn't sleeping. But once I discovered skipping class, I did it habitually. I kind of had a problem, if I'm going to be honest. I'm not proud of any of this, by the way. Um, but before I had my own car and the ability to drive off the student parking lot whenever I wanted to, I had to get inventive. So I learned sports teams played games during school hours. So I joined a tennis team. <laughs> Mind you, I'm trash at tennis. Uh, also in Miami, every student must complete volunteer hours as a prerequisite to graduation. That's amazing, builds character, it's incredible. Uh, high school me volunteered at my mom's nonprofit. To clarify, my mom's nonprofit absolutely existed, that was a thing. I, I just did not do anything there. <laughs> Aside from playing Nintendo and listening to Missy Elliott. Uh, hey, we got some Missy Elliott fans over here. Uh, but you know, what does a girl do when her volunteer hours are spent, tennis season is over, and no other sports teams want anything to do with her? <laughs> well, conveniently for me, my grandmother lived extremely close to my high school, only about a 10 to 15 minute walk away. So this was perfect for a lot of reasons. Uh, grandma was home alone during the days at home, you know, watching her stories, Matlock and Murder, She Wrote, <laughs> the deep cuts, tending to her plants, cooking. This sounded like an excellent way to spend my afternoon, y'all. So I skipped and went there, but you know, you can't go over to grandma's house telling her, hey, you know, I didn't feel like being in class today. Is it cool if I hang out here? No, she'll throw your ass out. <laughs> so I told a story or two. All right, I lied to my grandmother, okay? I already told you guys I'm not proud of my actions as a teenager. Don't shame me. Uh, every ailment you can think of, I came through there with. The easiest one, my period, of course. Every young lady's go-to, our trump card, the antiquated term now. Uh, but you know, you can't be on your period every day of the month. It just don't work that way. <laughs> Headaches were another one. I like these because you couldn't check, right? You just had to trust. There's no way to investigate whether a teenager is really having a headache. <laughs> Stomach aches were excellent as well, but you didn't want to overuse this one. Adults will start to worry. Wonder if you're okay. So the key was to rotate all of these, get a little schedule going. And every time, surprisingly, to me, grandma was super welcoming. This was the problem, actually. Every time I showed up with some ailment, she wanted to help. She'd go into her kitchen and brew up a batch of Jamaica's finest, Cersei. No one knows what Cersei is, I can tell, because there's no oohs and ahs. Well, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, anyone who knows what Cersei is understands the dilemma. Cerise is an herb grown in Jamaica and other Caribbean islands. It is typically prepared in tea. It is known for its medicinal qualities. It is viewed in Jamaica as a magical cure-all. Uh, Jamaicans treat Cerise like the dad in my big fat Greek wedding treats Windex. You know how he just sprays it on everything? <laughs> Except Cerise actually works. <laughs> but wait, before you run out to your nearest Jamaican market, <laughs> Before you run out of here to your nearest Jamaican market to buy up a batch, because all this sounds incredible, I know. Cersei may look unassuming, but it tastes absolutely awful. 
even after adding honey or your sweetener of choice, agave, I'm into it, whatever you want to add to it, it's still probably the worst thing I've ever tasted in my entire life. <laughs> and of course, my grandmother, a skilled practitioner of bush medicine, has always had her own cerise plant growing in her garden. That means cerise at the ready for whomever, whenever. <laughs> so that was me. And cerise is relatively easy to prepare. The recipe is as follows. First, wash your cerise leaf, your plant. You know, you don't want dirty cerise in your bowl. Uh, boil it in a big old pot. You know, 10 minutes is the boiling time. Third, serve it to your <laughs> unassuming teenager. And every time I came over, no matter the ailment, no matter the location of the pain, I could say, mama, my pinky toe ache me. For those of you who don't know, grandma, my pinky toe hurts. She still gave me cerise. It even got to the point where I thought to myself, what is a non cerise treatable condition I can come over here with? <laughs> According to mama, none exists. So that left me with tough decisions to make come for a period, y'all. So I stopped going to grandma's. During the school day, at least, you know, I, of course, continued to visit my grandmother. That was probably the only element of me that wasn't trash as a teenager. I visited my grandma under normal non cerise circumstances, during normal non-school hours, i.e. birthday parties, et cetera, et cetera. But skipping class there was no longer an option for me. I just wasn't doing that. At that point, even me, you know, I thought to myself, you know, damn, this math stuff ain't so bad. Let's learn today. Let's get an education. And knowing the type of woman my grandmother was and all the women she's raised in her lifetime, generations, it's not possible that she didn't know, right? She knew I was lying. Was Cersei used to cure my ailments or as a device to get me to stay my ass in class? <laughs> I have my thoughts. Thank you, guys.